this is a pre-built version of the application so if we go ahead and uh, run it now uh, the goal is that uh, given this uh, course scheduling supplied uh, data we need to use uh, hill climbing in order to find a university class uh, schedule with uh, no conflicts So uh, we started with uh, this uh, schedule which had uh, four conflicts and this is a table representation of uh, those uh, conflicts and a uh, conflict can be one of uh, three things for this uh, simple application it can be an instructor assigned uh, to teach more than one uh, course at the same time so here we have this uh, instructor instructor one which is uh, this uh, person is uh, assigned to teach uh, those two classes at uh, meeting time uh, four so at the same uh, time Tuesday, Thursday from uh, 10.30 to uh, 12 and a uh, conflict can also be a room occupied by more than one uh, course at the same time so here we have uh, the room booking uh, conflict so room uh, 3 have those two courses scheduled at the same time meeting time uh, for Tuesday Thursday from uh, 10 30 to uh, 12 and a uh, conflict can uh, also be a uh, course assigned to be taught in a room with a seating capacity that is uh, smaller than the course maximum number of uh, students so here we have uh, this course is uh, assigned to this room which has a capacity of uh, 35 but the maximum number of students for the course is uh, 45 and here we have the same issue so we started with this uh, class uh, schedule with uh, four conflicts and the number of uh, there is no number of previous tries since this is the first uh, schedule we started with and then after uh, two tries we end up uh, with this course uh, schedule with uh, three conflicts and then after one try we end up with this course schedule with two conflicts and after five tries we end up with this one with uh, one conflict and after uh, one try we end up with uh, this one with uh, zero conflict and this is a table representation of uh, that uh, schedule so this uh, instructor is uh, assigned to teach uh, classes on Tuesday, Thursday from uh, 10 30 to 12 and uh, from 9 to 10 30 and on Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 uh, to 10 and uh, this uh, person have uh, two classes on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and on Tuesday, Thursday and uh, this person has one class assigned for him to teach it and this person she will teach also one class on Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 10 to 11 and notice here the room capacity 
is always bigger or equal than the maximum number of uh, students for the courses assigned to each uh, room and uh, room uh, 2 has uh, classes on Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 to 11 and from uh, 10 to 11 and on Tuesday, Thursday from uh, 9 to 10.30 and from 10.30 to uh, 12 and room uh, 3 has uh, those uh, time slots assigned and uh, room 1 is not assigned any classes and uh, coming back uh, here so uh, those are the available uh, departments the math, a double E and the physics uh, department and the math one had uh, two courses offered the double E3 and the physics uh, 2 and those are the available uh, courses so for each uh, course we have the max number of uh, students for that uh, course and the qualified uh, instructors so this course have uh, those two instructors that are uh, qualified to teach it and this one those uh, three and those are the available uh, rooms and their maximum uh, seating capacity for each and the available uh, instructors and uh, meeting uh, times so we have uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 to 10 and from 10 to 11 and Tuesday, Thursday from uh, 9 to 10.30 and from uh, 10.30 to uh, 12 We will uh, start by uh, creating a new uh, project and uh, here we will have uh, this uh, driver class with a uh, main method that uh, will be driving uh, the application and a uh, data class which uh, contains and uh, initializes all uh, the data and uh, this uh, class representing a schedule and uh, this one containing uh, the hill climbing uh, logic and uh, this class represents a uh, conflict which uh, could be one of uh, three types a number of uh, students or an instructor booking or a room booking uh, conflict and uh, this uh, class represents a uh, course to be uh, scheduled and it uh, will be in uh, this uh, package which will uh, contain all the domain uh, classes and uh, this one will uh, represent an uh, instructor for a uh, course and uh, this one represents a room where uh, the course will be uh, taught and uh, this one represents a course uh, meeting time and a course will uh, belong to a department and uh, this uh, class represents a course 
with a specific uh, department that is uh, scheduled to be taught by a specific uh, instructor in a specific uh, meeting time and in a specific uh, room. Now uh, the course will have uh, a course uh, number and a course uh, name and a max uh, number of uh, students and a uh, list of uh, instructors that are uh, qualified to uh, teach this uh, course and those are uh, those four are initialized in the constructor and we have uh, get methods for each and the two string method will uh, return the name of uh, this uh, course and a uh, department will uh, have a name and a list of uh, courses that it uh, offers and uh, those two are initialized in the constructor and we have uh, get methods for both and uh, the instructor will have uh, an uh, instructor id and an instructor uh, name and those two are initialized in the constructor and we have uh, get methods for both and the two string method will uh, return the name of uh, this uh, instructor and the uh, meeting time will have uh, an uh, id and a uh, time and uh, those two are initialized in the constructor and we have uh, get methods uh, for both and uh, the room will have uh, a number and a seating uh, capacity and those two are initialized in the constructor and we have uh, get methods uh, for both and uh, the schedule will have uh, an array list of uh, classes and uh, let's go ahead and import to make sure we're using the right uh, class and a uh, class will have uh, an ID and a department and a course and a specific uh, instructor and a specific uh, meeting time and a specific uh, room and uh, the class ID and the course and the department are initialized in the constructor and we have uh, set methods for the instructor the meeting time and the room and uh, get methods for uh, everything uh, here and the two string method will uh, return uh, the name of this uh, of the department and uh, the course number and uh, the room number where this uh, class is uh, scheduled and the instructor that is uh, scheduled to teach this class and the meeting time for this uh, class the ID of the meeting time Now uh, the data class
will have an uh, array list of uh, rooms and uh, one for uh, instructors. and one for uh, course and for uh, department and for uh, meeting time and uh, we will uh, keep uh, track of the number of uh, classes in the system and uh, we have uh, get methods for each one of the instance uh, variables and we have an uh, initialize uh, method that uh, initializes each one of those uh, array list with uh, hard-coded uh, data and I'll have uh, this data coming from a database in a future uh, tutorial so we have uh, three rooms and uh, this is the maximum seating capacity for each uh, room and we have uh, four meeting times Monday Wednesday Friday from 9 to 10 and from uh, 10 to 11 and Tuesday Thursday from 9 to 10 30 and from uh, 10 30 to uh, 12 and we have uh, four instructors in the system and uh, seven uh, courses and here we have the instructor that are uh, qualified to teach this uh, course and same for uh, this one And this uh, number is the max number of uh, students. For each uh, course. And we have uh, three departments. A mass a double E and the physics uh, department and the math one has uh, two courses the double E has uh, three and the physics has uh, two and this uh, code calculates the total number of uh, classes and we call initialize from the constructor So here we will uh, keep uh, track of the conflict uh, type and uh, what uh, classes this uh, conflict is in between and uh, those uh, two will be initialized in the constructor and uh, we'll have uh, get methods for both and the two string method will uh, return the conflict type and uh, what uh, classes this uh, conflict is in between and uh, for this uh, simple application we have uh, three types of uh, conflict a number of uh, students and an instructor booking and a room booking uh, conflict and uh, the schedule will uh, keep uh, track of its uh, classes and its uh, conflicts and uh, the data we're using and this is a class number uh, counter and the constructor takes in uh, the data and we'll have uh, get the methods for the classes 
uh, the data and the conflicts. And uh, let's uh, import uh, this. And this uh, method initializes uh, schedule. So we go through all the departments. And for each uh, department, we go through all the courses in that uh, department. And for each uh, course, we instantiate a, a new class and set its uh, meeting time, randomly set its uh, meeting time, and uh, room, and uh, instructor, and add that uh, new class to this uh, classes list that we have in the system. And uh, this uh, method finds all the conflicts in the schedule so uh, we go through the classes and check uh, the room seating capacity if it's uh, smaller than the course max number of uh, students then we have a conflict so uh, we instantiate the conflict between uh, classes array list and put in it uh, the class that has uh, the room uh, or the number of uh, students conflict and we instantiate a uh, conflict indicate and indicate that it's a number of uh, students conflict and pass it the conflict between uh, classes array list from here and add that uh, conflict to the array list of uh, conflicts and uh, we check uh, if we have a room or an uh, instructor meeting time uh, conflict and if so then we uh, instantiate a, uh, an array list conflict between uh, classes and add uh, the two classes that have the room uh, conflict and instantiate a conflict and indicate that it is a room booking uh, conflict and pass it uh, the list of uh, conflicts of uh, room conflicts and add that uh, new conflict to the array list of uh, conflicts and same here for the instructor and uh, here we'll have another uh, constructor that uh, returns a new schedule based off uh, the past in uh, schedule and uh, the two string method will uh, return the classes that we have in uh, this uh, schedule and each uh, class will uh, display the department name and the course uh, number and the room number and the instructor ID and the meeting time ID. And uh, going here, have this uh, current uh, schedule, and we uh, instantiate a new schedule given uh, the data, and uh, call initialize method, and then uh, find all the conflicts. And uh, going to the driver class, we'll have this uh, display uh, code. So this one displays the available uh, data. And this one displays uh, conflict. 
given a schedule and this one displays the schedule as a table and let's go ahead and import class uh, here and in uh, main we'll uh, instantiate a uh, driver and let's go here and have this uh, get method for the current uh, schedule so we'll instantiate a driver and a uh, data and uh, Instantiate a hill uh, climbing algorithm given uh, the data instance and uh, pick up the current uh, schedule and display the available data and the schedule as table and the conflicts. So now if we uh, run it, we'll uh, display the initial uh, schedule. So this is the initial uh, data and uh, this is the initial uh, schedule and it has those uh, conflicts. So here uh, room uh, 3 is booked for two different uh, classes at uh, the same uh, meeting time. And all three of those have a uh, number of uh, students conflict so the room uh, capacity is uh, smaller than the max number of uh, students for the course and let's run it again okay so we got uh, different uh, initial uh, schedule Now uh, here, this uh, defines the maximum uh, number of uh, iterations before uh, reaching a potential uh, maxima while uh, hill climbing. And let's uh, add a set method for the current uh, schedule. And uh, this uh, method obtains the adjacent uh, schedule so we uh, randomly pick one of the conflicts in the current uh, schedule and uh, if that uh, conflict is a room uh, conflict then we uh, randomly pick a different uh, room for the adjacent uh, schedule. Otherwise, if that uh, conflict is a uh, instructor conflict, then we randomly pick another uh, instructor. And if it is a meeting time conflict, then we randomly pick a different uh, meeting uh, time. And we return the adjacent uh, schedule with the new meeting time or the new instructor or the new room and uh, this uh, method does uh, hill uh, climbing so here we pick an adjacent uh, schedule and if it has uh, less uh, conflicts, then we set the current schedule to be the adjacent uh, schedule. Otherwise, we check if we have uh, reached a potential uh, maxima. And uh, if so, we break out of this uh, always uh, true loop. 
and here we check if we found an adjacent uh, schedule with uh, zero conflict and if so we break out of uh, this uh, loop and this uh, should uh, do it for uh, this uh, class now uh, what uh, remains here is to perform uh, hill climbing and we display the schedule as a uh, table if we uh, reach a uh, schedule with uh, zero conflict So let's uh, test run the application. So here we reached a potential maxima. So we started with uh, this uh, schedule with uh, two conflicts. And this is a table representation of that uh, schedule. And those are the two conflicts. And then we went to this uh, schedule with uh, one conflict. And we stayed here for a thousand iterations. We couldn't uh, get to another schedule with uh, zero conflict. So let's uh, try again and again and here we go so we got to this uh, schedule with uh, zero conflict so we started with uh, this uh, schedule that had uh, five uh, conflict and then after uh, two tries we got to four conflict and after zero tries we got to three after two we got to two conflict and after two tries we got to one conflict and then we got to zero conflict this one and so here this one it had uh, five conflict two instructor booking uh, conflicts and one room booking and two number of uh, students and this is a table representation of uh, this uh, schedule.